Hey guys, Oregon Beaver Outdoors here. Going to show you guys how I'm making my wax dirt here in December. Uh, it's not super ideal. It's a lot easier to make in the summer months, uh, for, for, for darn sure. But I, I ran out. Uh, some of my friends are running out. And uh, this is the easiest way I found to do it. Um, so I, I got a 10 pound uh, bag of wax here from Minnesota. Um, nothing special. Uh, I got a, oh, what, probably a two gallon pot here. I'm using then just an old Col Coleman stove I don't, I don't use anymore. So uh, I had some sifted dirt here, guys, in a, well, a 75 gallon tub here. Uh, and I probably have, oh, I don't know, 40, 45 gallons in here. Now, Minnesota recommends this wax here. Uh, one 10-pound bag will do 20 gallons. But, um, again, guys, I, I try to save a buck where I can. So so I'm stretching this out. One 10-pound bag, I'll do, um, you know, 30 or 40 gallons. Uh, 40 might be pushing it because that's double what it calls to use but it's still working for me and as long as it is uh i'm going to keep doing it that way because because this stuff this is about the most expensive uh uh way to freeze proof your your sets in the winter time these bags are about 25 dollars for 10 pounds where you know peat moss and our antifreeze uh uh, is, a, is a whole lot cheaper than that but but this stuff is tried true test tried true tested uh, it, it really works well um, in, in any conditions that I've had it thrown at you, you can see we got a little snow last night just a skiff but in the forecast for the next week we have snow and even you know the most i've had on my wax dirt so far is about six inches and the traps were still working underneath um in freeze thaw it, it keeps them working it'll get a it'll get a crust of ice over the top of this wax dirt that you have to go and and, and break off but everything below that's still working um and i haven't got that out of any other product i've tried so uh, I'm going to get this mixed up here, guys, and uh, and I'll show you the next steps. All right, guys, so I got this mixed up in here. I uh, I used that 10-pound bag, and I ended up putting in another 5 pounds. So about 15 pounds in this, what I'm guessing, you know, probably 45 gallons of dirt in here. And like I said earlier, Minnesota recommends you do 10 pounds for every 20 gallons of dirt but uh you can stretch this stuff out so uh just have this stuff mixed in really well some of the uh wax it, it comes and it'll be in clumps but that's okay it'll melt down a little um so here i got my pot on i just have it on you know pretty low in here i only fill my pot up about halfway and uh and then it only kind of melts the bottom inch or two in this pan so you constantly have to to rotate it um you don't want to burn this stuff uh for for darn sure otherwise this wax will, will put off a smell uh so keep rotating every batch takes oh gosh i don't know probably 10 15 minutes um and this isn't ideal guys like i said but but it's december we're in the the middle of the trapping season and uh and this is how i found to do it i've seen other guys and, and there are other ways to do it i've seen guys use uh, concrete mixers on youtube uh, with a heat source uh doing it that way i've seen another guy uses wood stove similar to what i'm doing and just uh putting putting it in here or putting it on his wood stove in a pan and slowly turning it and then uh so after I get a batch done, I'll take one of these windows I have, and I and I use these in the summertime, guys, um, for doing it the solar way. But I'll transfer this dirt onto one of these windows. I'll set up on top of here, and just spread it all out, let it cool off to get the heat out of it before I store it in uh, several of these tin garbage cans uh, I have around. Um, 
the the solar way gosh that's the way to do it guys uh this same tub i use and you can make a batch in just hours when it's 90 degrees outside and do it the same way i have done it here uh get it in here uh, mix your wax up pretty thoroughly with your dry dirt and put the windows on top of here and uh and then it'll just heat this up and melt the top of it. You got to come out, sift it around, and uh, you can do 50 gallons in a matter of hours. It's, it's super fast. Uh, and this way, this way is going to take me half a day uh, or even probably an entire day, a, a few days at work and at this to just get me enough dirt to finish off my season. But uh, anyhow, guys, I'll show you the finished product uh, after this batch is done. So I'll see if I can do this one-handed, guys. You just really want to stir this stuff around, uh, get to the bottom. Like I said, you don't want it to burn. Uh, you'll see some heat or steam coming off of it. It's just this dirt warming up. The wax is slowly melting. Uh, uh, so just get to the bottom of your pan really good and keep slowly stirring it. Uh, like I said, you see some heat coming off of it. And slowly you'll see this wax start melting into it. Uh, using such a big pot on a burner like this, you know, it's only getting uh, w working on about this much of the dirt. It's not heating up this whole pan. So you got to get to the bottom and shift it to the top. But uh, slowly but surely, uh, it'll start adding up. And uh, anyways, guys, so make sure you don't forget that step. If you burn this stuff, uh, it, it's hardly no good. Uh, so, uh, coyote sense of smells uh, great or, or almost any fur bearer. So, uh, uh, constantly rotate this stuff, guys, doing it this way. All right, guys, so we just finished this first batch. Uh, and it's got enough heat in it after getting it out of this pan here. You want to get it on something and get it spread out and get the heat out of it. So, I just have a little garden rake here and just work it out it'll have some clumps in it uh, you can knock those out uh, as you go guys and use whatever i'm using a window here i use uh, for my solar method i'm making this stuff in the summer use a piece of plywood use a tarp uh, use whatever you have available just get the heat out and and then you're able to store it in and whatever i i store it in. well here i got old uh tin trash can i use 50 gallon drums uh totes work uh just whatever uh so uh here's some i made not too long ago guys and uh, i mean to see this stuff working uh well here you go i dump water on it you just watch it repel i i mean you show me another product that uh that does that and that's going to hold up to uh four degree temperature and a foot of snow on top of it uh um, that it might be out there, but uh, the few other things I've used, guys, it just uh, it doesn't work. I, I've tried peat moss. Uh, I've tried antifreeze, and, and they both work to some extent. Uh, but for us to make catches consistently, guys, uh, kind of all the stars have to line up anyhow, and that's within our hands to control somewhat uh, with what traps we're using, what sets we're making, baits in the whole gland lure location, and uh, and what dirt we're keeping these things working with in the winter, winter time. So if not all those things are lining up, guys, if one of those is failing, you could have the best coyote location in the world and the greatest gland lure. And, uh, but if you don't have dirt that's keeping your sets working, then... Uh, it's pointless in my opinion so i highly recommend this stuff guys uh it, it works well now you will see you know we get some moisture you, you guys watched how the water repels off of this stuff here i'll show it again um so as it does get some moisture guys if you're getting freeze and thaw if there is some moisture left standing you know it's kind of melting during the day and then it's getting down in the teens single digits at night if there is moisture left in this you will find that that will freeze but there's a layer the under that layer of your the moisture all this dirt is just dry as can be uh 
you know the most snow i've had on top of this stuff is probably eight inches this uh six to eight inches uh this winter and you know the, the snow kind of took them out of commission a little if the coyote would have dug down and really worked the set there would have been a catch but uh the sets were still working i i fired several traps just trying to dig the snow out of them uh with this stuff just as powdery as it is now so here you have it guys uh this is how I do my wax dirt in December. See you later.